Hey, it's Topher from Record Talk with five records in five minutes. Because, of course, uh, I'm usually Chris from Record Talk because Chris is like the first half of my name and Topher is like the last half of my name. So you can go by Topher as well. It's sort of like if your name is Elizabeth, you can go by Beth. You can go by the end of your name rather than the beginning of your name. So we've already wasted half a minute. Let's talk about those 50-year-old records from 1974. Phaedra by Tangerine Dream. Just uh, some wonderful, soothing, electronic, progressive, ambient, whatever you want to call what Edgar Fraser was doing with his, the Mellotron and the Moog and um, all kinds of other uh, synthesizers. And um, it's, it's, it's much harder for me to wrap my head around how people create this sort of music than when you listen to something that's much more sort of your standard uh, guitar, bass, drums, rock and roll songs, or even I, not as a musician, kind of see where that stuff's coming from. But uh, this is something I like to listen to. Um, and of course, we've got some bombastic rock. No synthesizers are used on the making of this album. Queen used to brag about that all the time. Um, eventually they stopped bragging about it because, well, they started using them. But there's some stuff on Queen 2 that it's really hard to believe they weren't using synthesizers for, but they didn't. So, of course, you've got Side White and Side Black. I, I really dig Side Black more. You've got just the crazy ogre battle, the fairy fillers, master stroke, testing your vocabulary knowledge. The March of the Black Queen is like a better version of Bohemian Rhapsody, although you might like Liar a little bit better uh, from their first album a year before. But of course, because it's Queen, they always have to throw in the weird clunker like Funny How Love Is. That sounds like maybe that should have been thrown on side two of the game. Um, but there you go. Um, and then um, another album from 1974 I apologize for the fact that this tan album cover always looks like crap it seems like every time I see Joni Mitchell Court and Spark um, there seemed to be something about this this tan record where 50 years down the line it just looks like hell um, one of the things is um, I listened to this just a couple days ago I hadn't really listened to it in a long time but um, Obviously, Help Me is the famous song. Uh, we've got Car on a Hill. I actually think Raised on Robbery, which I think was actually released as a single before Help Me, but didn't become a big hit, is actually a better song. And I found that even though I hadn't really reached for this album in many, many years, I'm not somebody who generally listens to a lot of Joni Mitchell. Uh, Joni Mitchell was one of my mom's favorites. This album definitely got played in the house when I was a kid. And I can find myself still pretty much remembering all of the songs as they were coming up. I mean, some of the songs, I didn't remember the titles of the songs, but then it would come on. I was like, oh, yeah, I remember that. So those were all pretty familiar. Uh, then let's show a couple of little records, little 50-year-old records from 1974. So we got some Sugar Billy, Super Duper Love Part 1. In Super Duper Love Part 2. So you got the funk and the soul going on. Willie Gardner. Um, again, sort of like the James Brown I showed last time. Part 1, Part 2. Maybe, no. I guess people hadn't thought of the idea of doing 12-inch 45s yet. Where you could pack on remixes and longer songs. And still have it at 45 RPM. Um, there's probably a more famous... Uh, cover of this song by Joss Stone that she did probably, oh, uh, I think like 2003, 2004. And then finally, this is probably the quintessential 1974 song. It's Energy Crisis 74 by Dickie Goodman. So this is one of those break-in records where um, there would be like comedy and then there'd be like little snippets of popular songs of the day. And those little snippets were supposedly... Uh, taking the place of the president being interviewed about the energy crisis. I've got a DJ promo. You can even see that it's marked March 22nd, 1974. So we're like, this record's about to turn 50 years old. 